Hey guys, I'm LB, and on November 2nd, specifically many days after my Halloween special, there is a new map called Halloween Testing Initiative. And I noticed that Deathwish's walkthrough video is three minutes. So, I'm not sure how long this is, but if it takes three minutes to do a walkthrough video, maybe it's not that long. Anyway, let's read the description. This was created by Quentin, Turrets Turrets, and Red Skittle Fox. The puzzle difficulty is hard. Map design by Red Skittle Fox, puzzle design by Turrets Turret, and custom content design by Quentin. Special thanks to these guys. Music by Kevin McCloud and Kavinsky. Okay, hopefully... I know Kevin McCloud should be just fine, but Kavinsky, hopefully you don't have your music and content ID. Alright, thank you for taking part in this Aperture Science activity. Let's begin! And I still have my volume levels the same as from the Halloween stream, just in case there's any spooky atmosphere at all. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> He's got a little wizard hat on him. Ooh, wow! Those trees are great! <laughs> That's a really cool skybox! Look at that! The Fizzler is a web! It's also incredibly bright. Holy crap, why is it so bright? This light source is way too bright. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's because of the... What the? That's... Not... How that's supposed to look. Maybe that's just my graphic settings. Alright. Okay. So that's just because of the cube, but yeah, that light source is pretty bright. <laughs> the ant lines! The ant lines are bats and pumpkins! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Alright, so... That does that... Hmm... Oh, what do we have there? Broken, busted cube, it seems? Is that- is that where the cube respawns from? Also, this looks- looks like blood, almost. Yes, that is where the cube respawns from. Alright, Coolio. Oh, and it- it just lands there. Alright. Let's figure out what we wanna- what exactly we wanna do here. I think, first of all, let's try and head over to the other side here. Oh, we gotta place our portal first. Alright, fair enough. There's not really much of a reason to plate this anywhere in specific, it seems like. Now, once we're over here- oh, there's another cube here! Oh, well, gee, thanks! Okay, does not auto-respawn, that's good to know. Whew, man! That is definitely... buggy looking. Again, I don't know if it's my graphic settings or what. Okay, that gets us a portal surface over here. Is this a cube swap puzzle? How would we swap the cubes, though? Pretty sure we want this cube to be over there. Yep, okay. Okay, so we can get over there. Question is, how do we get back? I mean, we can put the cube on this button. Does that work? Yeah, that gets us back. But then what? We could get both cubes over here without ourselves over here. I 
Yeah, we could be over there and have both cubes over here, but that wouldn't really do us much good. I guess we can use this portal surface now, but... Not entirely sure how that helps us at all. Oh, the funnel's- yeah, the funnel's still reversed. Well, okay, this is how we swap the cubes. Okay, so carefully... Very carefully... There you go. Stay there. And then... We just recall the brethren. Ta-da! Now we have both cubes. I actually like that, that's a really cool puzzle. That took some... thinking. But I'm also very tired right now. <laughs> and I don't think well when I'm tired. That's still spooky. Also, what is... What is this supposed to be? Like, ground? Or a hill? Or... I don't know, it just kind of looks weird. I do want to take a moment to look at this real quick. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and I can't move. Because of the... yeah, there we go. Hello! It's a fat turret. With a wizarding hat. Are we gonna see the sorting hat anytime soon? Also, I am very low on drive space right now, so it is in my best interest to solve these puzzles as quickly as possible. <laughs> it sure would be funny if we could place a portal on the moon, and then this one would just, like, kill us as soon as we placed it. Spiderweb. Pretty sure it's not load bearing. If anything, it would be the opposite of load bearing. Okay, well, that's just death, so let's head over here. Maybe we can find something that isn't death. Let me guess this auto responds? Oh, yeah, probably, because there's no button that I see. Uh... Oh, there is a button! Alright. So... How am I not trapped right now? <laughs> Where do I go to untrap myself? I know I could've gone through the portal, but I wanted to see if it was possible to trap myself, and I think... I think this is the definition of trapped, right here. More of those busted up cubes. Yeah, I think I'm good and thoroughly trapped. That, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hmm, you may want to look into that, perhaps, because that definitely is not good. Alright, let's- let's go- uh, pretend that I used the portals. In fact, let me- let me just, uh, place these portals back kinda where they were. And we'll pretend that I used them. Whee! And this button... calls the cube, I assume? Yes! Which then promptly falls... directly... into the forehead. Well, how am I supposed to do anything with that, then? What, do I need to, like... I need to... optimize my portal placement here to be able to get that cube or something? That doesn't make sense. Something tells me this isn't as well playtested as it could have been. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, enough of that. 
Let's just, uh, untrap ourselves here. There we go. I could definitely use some work there to fix that. Like, unless I'm just not seeing something obvious. <laughs> oh, wow, I love that solution a lot. I don't think I've done a puzzle that required that before. That is really cool. Let me go ahead and, uh, favor this. Thank you. Then again, I haven't played as many puzzles as some people have, but, yeah. So now, we can actually go back. Because, uh, if I had just naively placed a portal there and a portal there, dropped the- the cube through, I wouldn't have been able to come back over here. That is really clever. I like that a lot. And then now, we run over here, grab the cube, and we are good to go. But yeah, this puzzle could definitely do with some more playtesting to fix that trapping situation, and also when the cube respawns, there's no way to get it. So, yeah. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these ones right here, after these credits, that is. And, uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!